<laughs> Welcome to Graphic Designer Pro. In this episode of Tool Time, we'll be looking at the pen tool in Adobe Illustrator. And if you want to follow along, then you can download a free template file for this lesson from the description below. Okay, I'll pass you over to our lead designer, Rory, who will show you how it works. Thanks Ross. So jumping straight into our template file, we can start using the pen tool by grabbing it from over on the left hand toolbar. The keyboard shortcut for this tool is P. And this is one of the core tools in Illustrator that is crucial to get a grasp of as we can essentially create any kind of vectors with this tool alone. So we can start using it by simply clicking anywhere on the document and that's going to plot an anchor point. You'll see we get a preview line for the path that we're going to create depending on where we move the mouse. If I click again I can plot another anchor point and we can continue this process until we either close the path. So if I go back to my first anchor point that will create a closed path or a shape or I can press escape on my keyboard which will just end the path we're creating. But in this case I'm going to go back to the first anchor point and close this up to create this triangle shape. We can also create curved anchor points. So again, grabbing the pen tool, I'm going to start by creating a horizontal path here. So holding shift, that's going to lock this to a horizontal plane. If I move the cursor up, you can see this is locking to 45 degree angles, but I'm just going to create this horizontal path first. If I go back towards the middle, I can click and drag to extrude these curve handles and you can see we are creating a curved path as a result. Now I can just join this back up to the first anchor point again and with the pen tool still selected if I hover over any of these existing anchor points you'll see the cursor slightly changes to have a minus symbol next to it and if I click on an anchor point that's actually going to delete it. I'm just going to press command Z for the time being. So again starting a path by clicking an anchor point I'm just going to plot a few random anchor points here and what I'll do is I'll flip the fill to a stroke so this is a little bit more obvious and give it a little bit more weight as well. Now what we can do with the pen tool still selected is switch to other tools by holding down certain keys. So I hold down command or control on a PC we we get our direct selection tool as you can see and I can basically do anything I would be able to do with the direct selection tool such as repositioning individual anchor points as I'm doing here so I'm just going to move all of these anchor points to sit on the same horizontal plane here if I hold option or alt on a PC we get our anchor point tool now we're going to cover this in more detail in a separate video but this basically allows us to add or edit curve handles within a path so if I just click on an anchor point and drag. You can see we can turn this into a curved anchor point very easily. Still holding option in this case, I can click and edit just one side of the curve as well. So this is also very useful. I can get rid of the curve altogether on a specific side by bringing the curve handle back towards the anchor point. And I can also click between two anchor points to apply curvature to the path in this way as well. So I'm going to press escape and that's it for an introduction to the pen tool in Adobe Illustrator. If you want to learn more about graphic design, we've created a free one hour training where we reveal our top five secrets to creating beautiful graphic design. So make sure to sign up for the next free webinar. The link is in the description. You're not gonna to want to miss it. I'll see you there.